Hello, welcome to the Mark Donald Show, the cybersecurity show. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to build the SI4732 pocket radio receiver with the ESP32 S3 control. So, and give you some information in regards to that. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So, do you know, to build an SI4732 pocket radio receiver with ESP32 S3 controls, you're going to want to follow these, you know, steps precisely. You're, you're going to want to obtain the necessary components. You have the LilyGo T Display S3 development board, right? That's the ESP32 S3 based. The SI4732A10G SR radio receiver, I see. The 1.9 inch uh, ST7789 you know, IPS display. The EC1110. Uh, you know, ro rotary, you know, 10 mm rotary encoder switch, uh, you know, with the switch, right? You have the lithium ion 603040 battery, uh, the 1511, right? The 15 by 11 mm speaker, various resistors, capacitors, and other components as listed in the BOM. Then design the PCB or use the provided schematic. So follow the schematic available on GitHub, okay? Uh, and you, you know the link will be in the description box. So ensure the proper connections between the ESP32 S3 SI4732 and other components. Now assemble the hardware, right? Solder the components onto the PCB according to the schematic. Connect the display, rotary encoder, and speaker to the appropriate pins. Set up the software environment. Install the Arduino IDE and configure it to or basically for ESP32 S3 develop, uh, development. Now download the SI4735 library from the GitHub, right? That link will also be in the description. Now program the ESP32 S3, and you can use the provided example sketches from the SI4735 uh, library. Modify the code to work with the specific pin configuration of your build. Now. The flat, you know, flash the firmware, right? Connect the board to your computer via USB. Use the ESP32 flash download tool to upload the compiled firmware. Now test and calibrate, right? Power on the device and verify all functions are working correctly. And then adjust the antenna and fine tune the radio reception as needed. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. If you're gaining value, if you got what you came here for, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. Moving forward, so this pocket radio receiver will be capable of tuning LW, MW, SW, and AM and SSP modules, as well as receiving regular commercial FM stations. Now, there is a way to connect the SI4732 to the ESP32 S3 board. So, to connect the SI4732 to the ESP32 S3 board, follow the you know this pin mapping and wiring guide. So. The pin connections, and Peter, please put that on the screen for the viewers. Uh, you know, you have the power supply. You're going to want to connect the SI4732's VDD pin to the 3.3V pin of the ESP32 S3 and its GND pin to the ESP32 S3's GND. You have the I2C uh, communication, connect the SDIO pin of the SI4732 to the GPIO21 SDA on the ESP32 S3. Connect the SCLK pin of the SI4732 to GPIO22, the SCL on the ESP32, uh, you know, S3. Now reset the pin, right? Connect the reset pin of the SI4732 to GPIO12 on the ESP32 S3. Now the mode selection, tie the SEN pin of the SI4732 to the GND for IT2C you know, mode operation now the notes ensure pull-up resistors are placed on the sda and scl lines if not already present on your board use a stable 3.3 v power source for both the esp32 s3 and the si4732 to avoid communication issues now the benefits of si4732 pocket radio receiver with esp32 s3 control the SI4732 pocket radio receiver with ESP32 S3 control offers several benefits, right? Making it a versatile and compact device for radio enthusiasts, hobbyists, and learners. Now, here are the advantages. You have the multi-band and multi-mode reception. The SI4732 DSP chip enables the receiver to support a wide range of frequencies, including the LW, that's the long wave, 
right? The MW, that's the medium wave, and the SW, that's the short wave. The FM, you have the 64 to 108 MHZ with RDS support. It also supports multiple modulation modes, right? You have the AM, that's the amplitude modulation. You have the SSB, that's the single sideband with USB slash LSB options, which is ideal for amateur radio operators. It's compact and portable design, right? The device is ultra compact and lightweight, making it highly portable. It features an integrated, you know, uh, LiPo battery for extended outdoor use with USB-C support for stationary setups. Now, it also has advanced hardware platform, right? Powered by the ESP32-S3 microcontroller with dual core LX7 processors running up to 240 MHZ, right? Features integrated Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.0 for connectivity, allowing potential IoT applications. It includes a vibrant 1.9 inch IPS display for clear visualization of frequency mode and signal strength. Now you have the open source customization. The software is based on an open source sketch by Ralph Xavier, right? Allowing users to modify or enhance the functionality. The customization options include adapting the device to different hardware configurations or adding features like enhanced tuning precision. You have high sensitivity and performance. The SI4732 chip offers excellent sensitivity and precise tuning capabilities. It features, you know, the like the DSP bandwidth adjustment and sideband selection improved signal clarity and reception quality. You have the educational value, right? That serves as an excellent tool for learning about radio frequency technologies, digital signal processing, and microcontroller programming. Limit, you know, now the limitations are, you know, the device has many benefits, but it also has drawbacks, right? There's a low display brightness and auto output on the, you know, the jack. There's limited functionality in terms of direct frequency entry or storing uh, presets. Some users report that scanning stops after the first signal is detected. So uh, if you got what you came here for, if you gain value, please hit the mo please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and that like button. If you got what you came here for, if you're excited, if you gain value, if you're happy, please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and that like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. See you in the next video.